Hello and welcome to Thirsty Thursday Toys. If you're new to the channel, I do nerdy drink recipes and toy reviews every Thursday and reviews and nonsense drinks like this on some random days like today. If you're already subscribed, thank you and welcome back. Also, if you're wondering about this, long story short, I have a kitty who did not want to go to bed tonight. So if you've seen my other HGD Plus capsule set unboxings, then you'll know I like to play a drinking game where I make variations on cocktails based on each figure in the set and take a drink from that cocktail whenever I reveal the corresponding figure. Tonight, we're going to play around with stuff I've been testing out. Here we have some cola candy dissolved in bourbon. Here we have a uh, sweet red fish dissolving in vodka. Here, I don't even remember what this is, so that'll be a fun time. This is water. I've already had a few tonight, and I need to stay hydrated. Now, if you remember from my last HGD Plus unboxing, I ended up with three cases. They flip-flopped Series 6 and Series 7, so I ended up with three cases of the last one and only got two pre-orders in for cases for this one. They, they closed the pre-orders. I couldn't get a third one in after they had flip-flopped them around. So hopefully I get at least one of each in these two cases that I was able to get. So if you haven't seen any of the previous videos and you don't know anything about the HGD Plus series, these are sold in capsule machines in Japan. There are four figures per series, but they are randomly assorted. You cannot tell from the capsule which figure is inside. You can buy them in cases of four, but you're not guaranteed to get an entirely complete set, which is why I always buy at least two cases. I've been buying three as of late except for this one, which is two, so hopefully I get a full set. They come sealed in this plastic wrap. There's the barcode. It says Godzilla HGD Plus 07. Here we go. Ooh, interesting. And I say interesting because usually they say like HGD Plus and the number on there, but these are completely clear. There is no indication which set they're in, which I guess is an indication because every other set has the uh, the writing on it. Now here I'm going to open both cases because I kind of like the way they look when all of them are in a giant pile. So I'll open each one up, show you which one is inside, and if it's Jet Jaguar, I'll drink some of that. If it's Godzilla Ultima, I'll drink some of that. If it's Mechagodzilla 2, I'll drink some of that. And if it's Aquamothra, I'll drink some of that. And I might uh, end up drinking a bunch of this throughout. So these are usually double wrapped, so you have this first layer here, and then you have the second layer, which in this case is also clear. And this first one is Jet Jaguar. Interesting. All right. Not a whole bunch, just enough to taste. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, that's potent. Oh my. Oh, it's sweet and strong. Holy moly. All right. Okay, well, that matches the color of this Angira spine really well. Look at that. And I will take a closer look at these in a minute. All right, next one. We've got Mechagodzilla 2. Got some of this. Hopefully this is good. I don't remember what this is. Take a little bit. There's definitely black food coloring in that. Oh, it's pepperminty. Okay, oh, it's peppermint schnapps. Just black food coloring? What was my plan with that? All right, third one. Got another Mechagodzilla 2. Get some more of this. And it tastes like mouthwash. <sighs> yeah. Last but not least from this case, it's Godzilla Ultima. Okay, that's a good sign. Ooh, okay. A little sip of this. Oh my god. Oh, uh, 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 uh. oh that's bad. Oh, don't do that. Oh my god. Oh. Well, um, tastes like vodka and kids' medicine. Halfway there, one case in. We've got one Jet Jaguar, one Godzilla Ultima, two Mechagodzilla 2s, no Aquamothra yet, which is, like, really the number one I wanted from the whole series. So hopefully there's at least one in the second case. All right, second case, here we go. We have Aquamothra. Okay, sweet. Okay, so we have at least one of each. Thank goodness I bought two cases. Next one. Oh, wait. I gotta drink. I gotta drink some of this. Do not forget to stay hydrated. Oh, that's the stuff. Next one from the case. See, I can already tell this one is ready to burst. It's already spreading. So I assume that's Godzilla Ultima, which seems to have the most pieces in it. Or maybe the biggest pieces. And it is... Oh, Godzilla Ultima! I was right. Sweetness. Some more of this. Nope, not that one. Some more of this. Oh, God, okay. 
Mistake. All right, number three. Another, number three from this case. These be another Aquamothra, and it is another Mecha Godzilla 2. I got three of these so far. It's one of this. This mouthwash. Cheers. Wash out that nonsense. All right, last but not least, please be another Aquamothra. It feels kind of light, so I'm guessing it's either that or maybe another Jet Jaguar. It is Jet Jaguar. Okay, I can have some more of that. Cheers. So let's put some of these together and uh, take a closer look. All right, might as well go left to right, starting with Jet Jaguar. So we have the torso, the lower half, and the two halves of the Angura Spike staff and the base, and it looks like it does have a clear stand and a little uh, manual. So front is the HGD plus Godzilla 07. Shows the Godzilla figure plus effect part plus diorama. So you've got the Aquamothra, Mecha Godzilla 93, Singular Point Jet Jaguar, and Godzilla Ultima. And there's some info on the inside if you are so inclined. So due to the nature of being in a spherical capsule, you can get stuff like this where things get bent. So you can either stick it back in the capsule the other way, leave it for a while and hope it bends the other way. So you can stick it in some hot water, bend it the way you want, stick it in some cold water and hope it stays. Looks like this just plugs right into the spine here. There you have the staff. A little bit bent, but pretty sweet. Legs just plug into the torso like so. And it stays. Pretty nice paint for such a tiny little thing. It's got its backpack. Skinny little legs. Skinny arms. And according to the instructions, this just plugs right in here. There, oh, and it actually holds. Let's see if it can stand. No. The legs are kind of bent from being in the capsule, but it does have this stand. So it has this street corner detailing on it. It looks like the feet plug into right here, and it does have this clear stand, which it looks like it should plug right into the street here. There we go. And this clear part should plug right into the backpack there. So that plugs in here, and the feet can plug into, maybe, there it goes, right into there, kind of, sort of, there we go. Fits perfectly. Stands up nice and tall, holds on to the bent thingy. And if you haven't seen before, the top of the capsule pops out, flips around, goes underneath. There are one, two, three, four little slots and four tabs in here. The thickest tab lines up with the thickest slot right there, plugs in upside down there, and stays in. This piece sits right in there. There you go. Let's give him his thing. Ta-da! Jet Jaguar. Next is Godzilla Ultima. Godzilla Ultima comes with a base that we've seen before. It has this broken piece here and this little tab here and another broken building with the tab in the bottom that kind of sits in here but not really. And we have the head, leg, main body with arms, other leg, and one, two, three tail pieces. So there you have the base. This looks like it should plug in but it doesn't. It just kind of sits on top a little bit. Here's our main body. These spikes are pretty sharp actually. Head plugs right in, leg plugs in, and has this pole that goes all the way through. And that should go into the hole in the other leg. Unless yours is bent. There you go. Plugs in. First part of the tail. Oh, it's sharp. Curves around. You get that second part in. And then the last little part plugs right in there. Nice long tail. Now the base for Mechagodzilla 93 is not only a brand new base, but also pretty neat. So you have this neat grid pattern with these huge tabs in there. Each of these is circular except for one which is squared off. That squared one goes right in the bottom here, and every other one just plugs into these circular holes. So now you have this kind of little base here. And that goes in right here. Then you have the Mechagodzilla. It has the head and upper body. Both arms, both legs, lower body, and tail. Let's get those arms plugged in. And these are circular, so it looks like they can rotate around. This plugs into the lower half. Real tight fit, but it works. 
you get those legs in there and it does have this tab that goes kind of all the way through there and that'll plug into the slot on the other leg and it does have the holes in the feet which plug right into the base and that plugs in quite solidly to the base solidly solidly last but certainly not least we have the aqua mothra which has a pretty sweet base comes with the main body the upper and lower wings and the base so first off this base is rad as hell it's got the water being blown by the flying and this part of the stand just plugs in right there so you need to remove the wings and with these wings these are really cool cast in this translucent plastic and then painted over uh, just on the one side here tiny little tabs. So I hope these stay in so you can see that the tabs are angled here So when you plug them in the painted side goes down You can see it's a little warped from being in the capsule, but that'll happen just like the other ones These are also cast in a translucent plastic That's really cool and this white part is painted just on the one side again check that angle to know which direction to plug them in There we go, and whoop. So they don't seem to stay in all that well, so I might have to glue these. And underneath, there are two holes where the base plugs into. Damn it, this does not want to stay in. And that is nice and tight. Ta-da. Let's take a closer look at each and do some size comparisons. This is pretty neat. I mean, you can see there's some extra plastic at the tip there. I can just cut that off. It's painted really well. It doesn't seem to stay in Jet Jaguar's hands all that well just because it's so top heavy and his hands are so teeny tiny. So there is our Jet Jaguar. Pretty neat. Here's a closer look at the sculpt. Here he is with the Movie Monster series counterpart. Here he is next to Angiris. Scale's a little off, but that's the best we're going to get for right now. And then here's these two. Here's our Godzilla Ultima. He does have arms in there, they're just really tiny. And it looks like that lower jaw is a separate piece, but it doesn't open. There's no articulation there. I'm definitely going to paint up one of my extras, add the red detailing to the spines. There are some gaps, like right here, just due to the nature of the sculpt. Right here. But I like that they gave him that nice long tail. And in comparison with the Movie Monster series, here's our Mecha Godzilla. And unlike Jet Jaguar, he can stand on his own. Now he is painted all silver except for the black bits inside the elbows there and the yellow eyes. It has this nice sheen to it. Now I gotta be honest, I don't really care all that much for this Mechagodzilla design, so I don't have much to compare it to. I do have this guy. This is the ultra-real Mechagodzilla from, what, 2001? The new one is a little bit smaller, but much better proportioned. Definitely dethroning this guy. Winner! So the head, while it looks to be a separate piece, does not come off or move, but you can rotate the arms all the way around. And then my favorite of the bunch, the Aquamothra. I'm so glad I bought two cases, because it would have really sucked to get a bunch of extra Mechagodzillas and none of this one. The sculpt and paint is fantastic on this. I love the little details on the arms. You can even see the compound eyes. This is superb. So there it is next to the previous high-grade Aquamothra. This is a vast improvement. And there it is next to the Bondi. I got these from Hobby Link Japan, but as of this recording, they're discontinued, so you might have to resort to some place like eBay, which I recommend doing anyway, so you're guaranteed to get the exact ones that you want. So as always, I want to thank you for subscribing, wish you good luck on your hunt, and remind you to please drink responsibly. See you Thursday.